just get gayer and gayer and more queer. If you target trans folks, fuck you. Xeno pronouns. Perhaps one of the most beautiful concepts. Now, Amir, I've got to get your thoughts on just a handful of the crazy videos. People have started sending me them because they know I do yeah. this uh, that I found on TikTok this week. Uh, let's roll the first one. There's a joy for queer people. It's not just coming out. It's how much gayer you get day by day. You just get gayer and gayer and more queer. Like you feel your power grow. It is wild. So do you get gayer and gayer by day, Amir? This is exactly what I was talking about when I said I can't stand when we're expected to act a certain way that because we're gay, we're supposed to like, oh my gosh, we just get gayer and gayer and gayer. No, that it pisses me off so much because this is not real. It's fake. It's fraudulent. Also, like, why can, why is not a superpower. It doesn't make you special. It doesn't make you worse, but it doesn't make you special at all. It's just, and these people want to be normal and accepted. So they want to be accepted so bad. But then you're doing stuff like this where it's like, it's just fake. No straight person does this. No straight person says this. That it's just not true. That's not the case. And uh, Also, and most I, gay people funny. don't talk like this and aren't like this, but these are the ones that go viral on TikTok or get mm -hmm. platformed by like LGBT media, which is hot garbage, most of it. Um, these are the ones that get platformed and boosted. And then, you know, a lot of people will roll their eyes at this kind of thing and they think it's cringe and stupid because it is. And maybe they'll hold that against that whole LGBT community, even though it's really not representative at all. Right. And it's sad because I used to watch the Try Guys all the time in high school and college. Like, I loved Eugene. He was so funny. But then he made that coming out video. And, I mean, you see it's like night and day. It's like the man flew out the closet and completely changed his whole personality. And for some people, yeah, they are they are suppressing themselves and their true identity. But this idea that you are gay... And then now you're out here acting quote unquote gay. You're at that at that point you're just a copy and paste clone. How are you individual? How are you any different when you're acting like that? Yeah, you I think gayer and gayer and gayer. Some gay people are genuinely effeminate and that's totally fine. But then there's oh, yeah. also some people who like adopt this gay persona because it will make them popular or it's cool in a way. And I think that's just as inauthentic as oppressing your actual self. Exactly. All right, Completely up agree. next, uh, let's see what we've got here. Everyone transitions at some time in their life, whether from child to adult or maybe girlfriend to wife. We're all taking steps to make our lives feel more true. So kindly, if you target trans folks, fuck you right up the tush. <laughs> so first off, I'm going to give this one a two out of 10 for the musical performance. Yeah, I'll give it. Not even. I'll give it a six. I love the ukulele. Oh, <laughs> She's okay. the ukulele. You're very kind. But uh, the content, no. <laughs> content gets a zero out of ten. That, like these things. Piss me. Yeah, go I ahead. certainly don't believe in targeting trans people, whatever that means. But like telling people to like quack you, right? It, this very aggressive yeah. approach is not how you convince people. And then I also think it's very inauthentic or like not genuine to compare medically transitioning which involves in if you go the full route cutting off body parts like in massive surgery with getting married or like growing up or normal like transitions that just happen in the everyday course of life it's obviously something quite different from that and so exactly i just feels like a very strange conflation mm -hmm. completely agree and it's it's frustrating and annoying because we're destroying what language means because this person is saying, oh, you know, if you're, you know, attacking or coming for trans folks, but to them, the content we make is attacking them and harming their lives. Like that's how far to the extent they go to say that we are actually harming them by just giving our, our nuanced opinion. And so it invalidates everything they're having to say because it's like, what do you take serious? What is attacking to you? Is it me punching and hitting someone? Or is it me saying, hey, yeah, maybe we shouldn't do this for a minor? Mm -hmm. like, That's where, an where attack. Where are we at in this conversation? Exactly. It's an... Oof. You got me heated. I can't. I uh, Yeah, last week I did one where they said misgendering is violence. And, and that's 
Yeah, I know. First off, tell me you've never experienced real violence without telling me. But also, that's the dangerous part is if, if it's an attack, if it's violence, then they can respond to it with violence. That's the justification exactly. they're making with that twisting of the language. Uh-huh. It, it, it's beyond me. All right, let's see uh, what we have next here. Xeno pronouns. Perhaps one of the most beautiful concepts, uh, one of the most poetic ways to approach this subject. Xeno pronouns refers to any pronoun a person has that is unspeakable, that is unworkable in the language of a person. So an example would be a Xeno pronoun would be a word. I can't, I can't even say it, right? Because that's the point. They're unsayable and sort of effervescent and unknowable, kind of like a person's gender. <laughs> that's why I love this one. So an example would be, uh, you know, a Xeno pronoun would contain a, 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 a set of letters that is a pronunciation that a human being can't pronounce. It's some sound that a human being can't pronounce. Or that a Xeno pronoun contains an image or a concept that it's alluding to that is actually something that language has no way to express. The movement of understanding where non-binary people come from can sometimes take us into very lofty, beautiful, spiritual, poetic places. Thank you for your willingness to understand. And thank you for your willingness to honor us. This is what we're not going to do. What we're not going to do <laughs> is sit here and act like this is normal and acceptable behavior. This is lunacy and something really went wrong when we got rid of the mental institutions. I'm not even trying to be hateful. I'm not even trying to be mean. But the fact that you got here sitting, you have someone sitting here saying we can acknowledge someone by saying nothing <laughs> and address them as saying nothing. That's insanity. That's lunacy. And that's batshit crazy. I thought, like, honestly, this seems like a parody almost. Like, if, if I didn't know that Jeffrey Marsh was a committed, like, social progressive TikToker, I would have right. thought this was like a right... You know how right-wingers will make those personas that are pur purposely mm -hmm. over the top to mock woke stuff? I would have thought that was this because it doesn't even make sense on its own terms. A pronoun is a word we use in language to refer to a person, but their pronoun is a word that can't be spoken or pronounced. What? It makes it's in the no... word pronounced, right? Like <laughs> it makes no sense. And it drives me up a wall because I, this man is it's serious. Like it's not comedy, it's not a skit, it's not satire. Like, no, they're they're being legit and they're trying to be respectful and loving and inclusive but but no that man is so privileged in america has so little worries to worry about that their whole life is being made by by just talking about pronouns and sex we have people on the same planet thousands of miles away don't even know where they're getting the next meal from dodging who knows what bullets can't say can't even can't even be gay getting thrown off of buildings, getting stoned. There's so much more going on in this planet, but you're so privileged, you're so fortunate to be in the United States of America that instead of taking those privileges and creating something meaningful out of your life, you're defaulting to coming up with just crazy theories and saying, yes, it's harmful and it's hateful if someone doesn't refer to me with silence. With the words that can't be pronounced. <laughs> Miss me. Miss me with the BS. Well, and I just, I hate it because whether we like it or not, like, these are the faces of the online LGBT community. These are their icons. These are who they're putting up as their representatives. And like, I'm just going to be honest. If I was under the impression that that's what, what gay people were like, and I'm, I'm not, cause I know it's not true, but if that's what I thought, I'd be homophobic. I'd be homophobic. <laughs> I, I say the same damn thing. I'm like, listen, the way y'all acting out here in these streets, it's no wonder people. I hate it that they're rising and not liking us, but I see why. Hello, those people are the face of the LGBTQ community. And I'm sitting here like, well, damn, am I homophobe now? Because I know what I do in private is not homophobic, but damn, like seeing that, I want no part. 
Well, no you part are of it homophobic, at all. apparently, according to your friend, ex friend. Yeah. Oh God. I can't. I can't deal with Jeffrey. That's wild. <laughs> Jeffrey is a lot. That's wild. All right. Last one. Take a look at this. You know what's not harmful to society? Queer people. You want to know what is? Capitalism. Let's talk about it. Largely due to the policy and politics of conservative lawmakers, Americans are drowning in the cost of living and dying and breathing and blinking. The wealthy 1% earned $65 trillion last year. And even worse, they might pay less in taxes than your uncle who works in construction. I'm Making these two things are not related <laughs> at all. I'm like, I'm just confused at what this person's even saying and trying to to equate. Because I'm I'm pretty sure that person's on an, an iPhone in this you know horrible capitalistic society. I'm pretty sure that that's a black person, and as a black man, the freest country to be in as a black man is America. So I don't know. You want to try going somewhere else to see how that works out for you. I mean, uh, socialist and communist regimes have not been historically super friendly to LGBTQ rights. I would I would just humbly suggest that as a matter of the <laughs> check the historical record there. But like also just none of this even makes sense. Like the cost of living is high because of conservative politics. Um, No. Right. That's not why we have inflation. We have inflation because we printed trillions of dollars out of thin air and ran three trillion dollar debt. Thin that. air. So that's not conservative politics in, in any sense. And then to say, just like, to even conflate these two things is just weird to me. Also, like, oh, I'm so sick of this talking point about the wealthy not paying taxes. So there are right. loopholes, right, uh, in the tax code that are bad. But even when they pay less in taxes, what they mean is a lower rate. Like if Bill Gates is paying 10% yeah. and your uncle in construction is paying 20%, he's still paying a million times more in dollars to, to the IRS. But maybe you should close those loopholes, but it's very dishonest to say he's paying less in taxes or whatever. And it's just, mm -hmm. I hate the conflation of like being LGBT with therefore I have to be like this progressive Marxist on economics. Like I'm a dirty capitalist. Mm -hmm. I'm a hardcore capitalist. <laughs> and frankly- yes. You know, capitalism, it's not a coincidence that the, the most advanced nations in the world are all market-based, somewhat capitalist societies and are also the best places to be gay or trans or whatever because economic and freedom and political personal freedom go hand in hand. They closely correlate. Like name to me this communist utopia that is just great for the gays. I'd love to see it. I'd, I'd, let I'd me know how, how it, it is in China in uh north korea in russia anywhere for the gays uh -huh. you snapped i mean you, you hit the nail on the head because it's true there's nowhere else better to be capitalism it has freed us it has allowed us to be uh fortunate and thriving in the many ways that we are and this person has absolutely no idea what is going on and i just can't believe that this person uh votes uh -huh. I so my so, speaker, uh, my TikTok is attuned to these folks. I've followed a lot of them, and now my feed is just mm. full of it. Um, and I'll just say, bless your heart. It's a trip. It's a public service. So you know what? Drop some super thanks for me to do this because <laughs> please. Uh, I it's a public service.